Let's get on to some tech information. Magana's road construction could see a potentially bright future as local researchers and engineers produce bitumen formulated with plastic waste. Experts at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Kumasi say the modified bitumen can also improve road durability. On Tech Thursday, Lava FM's Kwesi Debra has been interacting with one of the engineers, Dr. Charles Enumadams of the Department of Road and Transport Engineering and has filed this report. So, uh, talk about bitumen and its application. And um, this is a sample of bitumen. Dr. Charles Adams is having a practical session with its students. The program manager of road and transportation engineering, planning the chemistry, bitumen. Is to make what we call asphalt concrete. And as you know, it's concrete, so you need a binder. Like when you are making concrete to build your house, you take the aggregates, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, then you put Portland cement. In the case of asphalt concrete, the same thing. We take the uh, coarse aggregate, some fine aggregates, and then we use asphalt as the binder. You put it bitumen produced in the course of petrol refining, also known as AC10, is less effective on overall durability of rules, either for asphalt concrete or for surface dressing. Additives have therefore to improve bitumen use in local construction. These additives called polymers help to reduce bitumen surface road pavement problems such as water damage through potholes, loss of aggregates, permanent deformation and cracking. Concrete pavement modified is found to be more firm at warmer temperatures and more flexible at cooler temperatures. You, you compact it very well, uh, and then you put it in a load. For the same load, you will notice that whereas the original AC10 bitumen will uh, probably crack at a certain load, the modified bitumen will take a higher load before it will reach the same state. However, these additives have a large import component. Solid waste constitutes a major environmental challenge in Ghana. A 2005 study in Accra found the generation of solid waste in the metropolis is estimated at 0.4 kilogram per individual daily. Professor Ernest Yamfo of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has reportedly projected Ghana will soon generate 25,000 metric tons of waste daily as population increases. Incidentally, a large percentage of the waste of plastic and this finds its way into drains, agricultural soils, among others. Aside resulting in diseases, flooding due to blockage in drains and threat to ocean life are among the devastating effects. For the study, two types of plastic were used. Some percentage of HDPE and PP were mixed with standard bitumen known as AC highway. They were conditioned at the required temperature until it was uniformly mixed. The study found addition of plastic waste to conventional bitumen improved thickness and physical properties than the conventional AC10 bitumen. The study compared the results with bitumen known as PMB or Everloy obtained from major local producer Platinum Seal. And in some cases, it was at par the Everloy modified bitumen. But never once was it lower than the Everloy modified bitumen. So far, the scientists have been successful modifying bitumen with problematic plastic waste such as discarded plastic bottles, gallons, and vehicle tires. The samples have been tried for portal patching at the Ghana Telecom University College and other places. But the scientists want government to explore the modified bitumen. We want the government to actually give us sections of roads where we will prepare um, the bitumen and try them. Because we believe that when we try them out, government could take it as one of the major uh, projects that they are doing to produce plastic waste modified bitumen in every district or in a cluster of districts so that we can use the 
roads within the district. Reporting for Joy News, Sid Deborah.